hey y'all um welcome back to my channel i'm gonna do a quick story time um i'm in a walmart parking lot i feel just a little awkward because a lot of people have tinted windows so i can't tell if people are in the car i try to when i do like story times in my car i try to find parking lots that are somewhat empty or at least not you know not a lot of people but you know every there's cars spread around everywhere so it's impossible to find like a secluded area um then almost everybody has tinted windows so i don't know if there's people in the car or not and are they just looking at me <laughs> like somebody just went by with like a scooter staring at me <laughs> but whatever i'm a youtuber this, this is what i do so this is basically a story time on the worst interview that i ever had worst job interview um this has happened a long 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 time ago um i had a job interview to be for a cna position obviously i'm not going to name the facility but it was a facility it wasn't in charlotte but it was um in this town that's very close to charlotte um so I, my interview was with the D.O.N. The energy from her was very much a little bit snooty-like. It was an older woman, probably, I would say, in her, maybe her 60s, maybe even early 70s, something like that. Um, So she was like, yes, um, I am, I've been a nurse for 30 years i've done this i've even worked for the state i've done like very she was i'm um, sharing her you know accomplishments with me which is fine but the way she it's just her tone the way she was saying it was very snooty right so she was saying um that we had they have a race she straight up said they have a racist patient he may call you the n-word he probably gonna cuss you out call you all kinds of names and this and that is that a problem and it was just the way she was saying it it was so weird you know what i'm saying like i i honestly i've dealt with that before several times as a cna and med aid you know you already know if we're gonna nurse the home with older elderly people you might come across some racist ones you know but it's just the way she her delivery was very like the, the way she was saying it, it's like you gonna have to deal with this racist patient um whether you like it or not like it was she like is that is that a problem mm, no i mean obviously yes it's a problem but i know that that i you know you know when you work in a nursing home hell even if you're working in the general public you're going to come across that sometimes you know but just the way she was saying it it was like you know um so then she was asking about my schedule at this time i believe like twice a week um i was working as a secretary very temporarily and i enjoyed it i didn't want to give that up because i i knew it was temporary but i really enjoyed it it was only for like six hours like twice a week and I told her, you know, I could work any day, but I think I was like Tuesdays and Thursdays or whatever day I was working as a little secretary at my parent and job. And she was like, oh, no, we have a set schedule. And basically, you have to go by that set schedule. So if you if you can't work on Tuesdays or whatever day she said, you might as well leave now. And just her whole demeanor, her attitude was just, it threw me off. It was too much. Um, and I said, okay, but in the back of my mind, I didn't want to just walk up and leave. I should have. Well, I think I said, I ain't giving up my, um, little secretary job because I really enjoyed it, even though it was temporary. But I, I thought about it. I wanted to go home and think about it first. So, she offered me eighteen fifty an hour. Now, back then, that was really, that was, I mean, that was really, 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 good pay for a cna eighteen fifty an hour now now i think that's the average actually I, I make more than that now i think a, a lot of cnas do but back years ago that was considered i never even nobody even offered me that much money as a cna 
um like that was unheard of 1850 that was unheard of but however then she went on to say i'm gonna go ahead and tell you this right now if you show up late i'm gonna fire you if you talk back to the nurses i'm gonna fire you which that threw me off because what you mean talk back you know, if a nurse asks me to do something that's in my scope of practice, of course, I'm going to do it. But the way she said it, like, if you talk back to the nurse, it's like, am I am I their child or something? They, they are, I'm not their child. I was being talked back. Like, so that threw me off. So I, I just didn't like the way she said that. You know, she could have, lots of times it's not what you say, but how you say it. She could have said, you know, you will get written up if the nurse asks you to do something that's in your scope of practice and you just refuse to do it. What you mean like talk back? But anyway, she said, and she said, if you talk back to the patients, I'm going to fire you. If you do this, I'm going to fire you. That's like, she went, oh no, if you do this, I'm going to fire you. If you show up late, do this now, I'm going to fire you. And she said, because I'm paying you enough to do your job. So if you do any of these things, I'm going to fire you. Well, excuse me. So, I was supposed to come back for orientation. I forgot. I think two days later. I don't remember. And it's going to set my schedule up and stuff like that. Y'all, I should have just told him no thank you, but I just didn't show up. And the lady that does the schedule, she had texted me and she said what happened. And I didn't say nothing back. What happened was, y'all, something wrong with your D.O.N. Right, she was ridiculous. All these nursing home jobs out here and you think I'm really going to put up with that bs like i just didn't like that was crazy the way she was saying it like i just didn't i wasn't feeling it the vibe that i was getting was i have to basically you want me to kiss your ass you want me to kiss patients ass kiss the nurses ass and i'm just i'm nothing or something so going for years later because you know sometimes facilities change sometimes you know facilities get new management and stuff like that so i filled out another application it was years years later she was no longer the deal it was years later y'all um and yeah girl guess what they offered me yeah she offered i put down um when you know on the application it says desired pay they, they still did the paper application I think I put down 18 or something. That's what she offered me years. And this is years ago. But this is a whole new staff, you know. So the lady wanted me to do an interview. She was like, oh, 18 50 We could probably pay you like 13 or something. 18 50 that's kind of high for us. Is that not insane, y'all? So like years ago, this deal in offered me 18 50 now, years later, I go back to the same facility and she talking about some 13 something that that's too high for them. So that goes to show you, you don't know what people are making. How was it I was offered 1850 years ago? Then now years later at the same place, talking about some um, 13 something is the most that we can do. That's like, how, did, how does that even work? That is so, um, that is so crazy. So I did not take the job. Um, like they ain't not even fifteen dollars an hour, so I thought that was very, very crazy. Like I wonder, like, so everybody's probably getting paid something different. You don't never know. You could be doing the same job as somebody else, have the same experience or even more experience, and um, you. They might be making more than you, way more. Um, so that's why these places they don't want people to share their pay. That's the real reason. You, you they could be low ball balling you. I think it depends on I guess how bad. I don't know if it's you know it depends on how bad they need people at the time or what. But in the nursing world, just because you have more experience doesn't necessarily mean um, you're gonna get paid more than somebody that just is a brand new CNA or a nurse, med aid or whatever. Because I remember I was on an interview. This was like, I want to say a year ago. Um, I didn't take the job for different reasons. But they offered me $24 an hour. That's pretty good. 
it was gonna be I was gonna be a CNA slash mid aid. Um and the um DOM he did my interview. He told me, look, just do not talk about your pay to nobody, okay? Do do not talk about your pay to anybody else. That's your business. Don't talk about it. But the reason more more than likely the reason why he didn't want me to talk about my pay to anybody is because let's say there's somebody that's there that makes 18 an hour or 20 an hour and they're going to be mad if they find out I make 24 an hour. So that's really interesting. But what did I tell y'all before? This world is not fair. Because the fair thing would be if you, somebody that has more experience, the fair thing would be they get paid more than somebody that doesn't have any experience. But that the, we don't live in a fair world. And somebody said this, and it makes sense to me. You know, I like this quote. It says, you have to learn to go through the world on as it is, not as it should be. Because we, that's what you have to do. You have to navigate through this world the way it is, not the way it should be. There are a lot of things that should be happening in this world, but it doesn't happen. Or sh the way things should be, like, fair. But life is not fair at all, and you have to do what's best for you um so yeah i will see y'all in the next video like comment subscribe y'all have a good day